Oh no, the squeeze. Wow. I'm feeling a lot better after a serious rest. Took a shower last night right after I said goodbye to Marco and uh, proceeded to vomit everywhere. I'm still feeling a little bit weak, but I do feel a lot better. Maybe Marco's awake. Good morning. Look at you in the throne. It looks like a pea in a pod, man. These, how nice are these things? These pods are super cool. Well, I'll leave you to it. I'm no, gonna... we need to go kayaking. We're gonna go harvest seaweed with a dude named Jim Kennedy in a village named Skipperini. Okay, well, I'm gonna try and get something to eat first because I'm on empty. Let's do that. Let's go. Peace. Okay. Right now we're following Jim and Maria from Atlantic Sea Kayaking. And they're gonna take us out to one of their favorite little spots and show us just how pretty this place really is. This place is super mellow, really, really quiet with the sound of the sea. We are about to hop into these kayaks, go for a little exploration around the coastline. How's the weather look today? Weather's good, warm-ish, no rain, that's a good thing in Ireland. Where are we going? We're going out to a place called Squins Beach out here. We're going to go out and look for seaweeds and see the wild life. This is a spectacular place, you'll love it. Graveyard just up here, it used to be a pagan graveyard, then a leper colony, and then a Spanish graveyard during the invasion here. A leper colony? Leper colony. I heard leprechauns, but hey, maybe <laughs> I'm just imagining things. Leprechauns. See ya. So one of the reasons this part of Ireland is so productive is because it's in the Gulf Stream. It's a very mild climate. It's not tropical by any means, but temperatures never really get down below freezing. And it brings a lot of sea food and sea life to the, to the coast. Allows them to grow crops and raise animals all year round. So, well, I mean, seriously guys, how pretty is this place? So tell us, where, where is the place that we're going right now? Well, we're in Squins Harbour, a little known and beautiful harbour. We're heading out to Rabbit Island, which is straight ahead of us. And we're going to take a right turn and head out to two islands called High and Low Islands. Okay, this is sea spaghetti. Sea spaghetti? Yeah. Late season sea spaghetti, so it's more like tagliatelle now. Tagliatelle! Okay, what are you tasting? Well, Flavors. Mmm, salt. Mm, that's the seawater. Mm -hmm. It's not the seaweed. Umami. Yeah, there you go, the fifth taste. The fifth taste that most people don't understand. Sweet, sour, bitter, bitter salty, salty, and, and then, then umami. umami. How was that? That was so cool. What a gorgeous little piece of water to navigate. So what sort of seaweed are we looking for? Well, we 
any any seaweed is edible, so you're not worried like you would be with mushrooms that you could poison yourself. It's really high up in the tide line, so it's a very easy seaweed to use. It's in the splash zone, so it's never covered by the tide. And it's a highly nutritious and very tasty one. So we'll take some channel rack today. So do we have enough? Yeah, we have enough to put in our salad. Cool. So we're keeping it sustainable, just taking what we need. Absolutely, a little bit at a time. Heading back to shore the scenic way. Super relaxing. I think I might just take a nap. Is that all good? That sounds good. <laughs> Notice we have only one paddle in this kayak. <laughs> Guess who's doing the work? And it's not Alex. <laughs> and it's certainly not his brother. Jim, I've been telling you, I've been feeling this the whole time. Now someone finally feels my guy. Hey, I'm <laughs> filming. Screw you guys. You guys I'm getting him. <laughs> How about that one, Jim? Excellent. I felt my, my uh, partner was incredible. He motivated me so well all through the trip. There were times when I thought I was going to just keel over exhaustion, but he kept me going right to the end. He's a natural coach, natural motivator. <laughs> well, that was very, very chill. Super relaxing, very mellow way to start the morning. You can feel the serenity of this place. And now we're gonna go to their daughter's cafe, the Union Cafe. We're gonna prepare, I think, a little seaweed salad and uh, have some lunch. We've just gotten to the village of Union Hall and we are at the lovely little coffee shop here. Called the coffee shop. Called the coffee shop. So we have our seaweed and we are going to be making a tonic for me because I'm still a little bit under the weather and then a seaweed salad. I've eaten seaweed in uh, Japanese cuisine and we had like a seaweed bath earlier so we've been doing a lot with seaweed this whole trip and I'm excited to eat it. Try it in these new innovative ways. This is the before color. And when we boil it, you can so it's see. The, so it's the iodine coming out, the chlorophyll staying in. Exactly. It smells so good. Mm. Very much like kind of an al dente pasta, but very palatable, super tasty, great little marinade, and supposedly really healthy. You can see this being a new fad in Los Angeles health food stores. It really is a flavor enhancer. It brings out the flavors of everything else that's with it, so... Umami. Thanks so much. See you guys. We'll see you next time we come to West Cork. Great. Take care of the seaweed for us. I'm going to save up and buy Alex a paddle. Yes, one day. Well, that was a lovely lunch. Today's off to just the nicest start. And you're feeling better. A little bit, yeah. Good enough now to go sample some cheese. So we're gonna head over to Kubin, right? To meet, a, to meet a cheese maker named Fingal Ferguson, who might just have really? the coolest name in the world. I'm Say that five times fast. Fingal Ferguson, Fingal Ferguson, Fingal Ferguson, Fingal Ferguson, Kubin cheese. See you soon. <laughs> Smells like cheese. Where's the cheese? Where's the cheese? Where's the little cheese? Take me to the cheese, take me to the cheese. The cheese industry really took off here in the 1970s when there was an influx of foreigners from cheese-making countries from England, France, the Netherlands. A lot of them were hippies trying to escape the rat race. Others wanted to be sustainable and buy up a cheap farmhouse. Uh, but the result was that the Irish cheese-making industry took off and now their cheeses are some of the best in the world. So we're gonna go meet with Fingal Ferguson and learn more. Marco, Marco. nice to meet you, man. Alex, Alex, nice to meet you. My name is Fingal Ferguson. I'm the fifth generation on the farm. We're in Gabine, which is in Skull in West Cork. We make Gabine, which is a semi soft rind washed cheese, and we also make a smoked cheese. In my childhood, I grew up with my parents who were in the cheese making and the farm here, so it was an exciting time in West Cork where so many people came to settle and live in West Cork, bringing with them their passion and interest, and so much 
I suppose that led to a lot of creativity and the farm, and I suppose farmers' cheeses, salmon smokers, growers, um, bread makers. It's just, it was an exciting time in the 70s for people to produce food. Little piggies. This chicken right here has bell bottoms on. Look at this. I get that sort of lactic smell now. Ooh, yeah. that, you can smell that kind of earthy, mushroomy nuttiness mm. that kind of comes through. That brings our time in West Cork to an end. It's kind of a bummer. I really have enjoyed every moment here. It's been so pretty and the people are so friendly. The food's amazing. I really, yeah, I, I wish, I don't like to pick favorites, but this has been top, super cool place. I, I look forward to coming back. I really hope we do. In the meantime, we have a four hour drive to Dublin and two more days exploring there. Well, that was just, a long drive. It was. We just got to Dublin. Um, we're here. We're gonna go grab some dinner, go to bed, and then tomorrow we start exploring. So if you guys enjoyed that video, which we hope you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and subscribe to Vagabrothers Brothers for new travel videos every week. Yeah, next, got two more episodes exploring Dublin. So in the meantime, stay curious, keep exploring, and we'll see you guys on the road. Peace. Huele chorizo, pero a saco, tío. Pero bueno, huele fantástico. Hay tantos chorizos aquí. Flipas. Imagínate. Una sala llena de chorizo. Solamente aquí, de Irlanda. Flipas, tío.